Good evening, Tamara. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Um, but I think that I'm fine. Okay. So how was your day? Yes. <laughs> how was your day, Tamara? Uh, uh, the normal um, um I don't know uh, how do you say tran tranquilo um quiet or calm uh calm uh, what's okay. calm to all oh, today all right yes yeah. <laughs> that's nice and how about the yes. platform did you have any time to work in the platform no, today I'm working. Um, yesterday, uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I no because I tomorrow I'll, I'm going to toward the platform. Okay, that's fine. ¿Cómo es lo de eso tenemos cuando pasamos de módulo? Nos mandan otro link para reunión o sería el mismo. Sí, no, les volverían a enviar información así como les enviaron para este módulo. El link para que se registren en plataforma, el link para las clases, todo eso lo van a cambiar. Les enviarían un email con toda esa información. Oh, ya. Yeah. Solo tenía la duda, gracias. Ok. Good evening, Janet. Good evening, Peter. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How was the weekend? Mm, quiet. Okay. And your home. weekend? It was nice. Puedo llorar. No sé cómo se dice eso. Sorry, can you repeat it? Fue en llorar. No sé cómo se re... oh. no sé cómo se dice eso. Ajá. If I went to put some flowers at the cemetery, maybe. I don't really know if there's a uh -huh. word to say en florar in English, but we can say put some flowers, right? Or oh, visit your family dies or algo así. Yes, maybe visit your relatives at the cemetery too but i didn't go no I, no way no not really i don't like it very much well in the previous years we ha we always go but um just for a little while you know because my mom likes us to go but to uh, i mean this time it wasn't nice right you know there were there were a lot of people and yeah. I, I didn't feel like going, so only my mom went. How about you, Janet? Did you go? No. You didn't. Me too. I don't like. I don't like oh. more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma, también con la, la situación de ahorita, no sé, creo que no sería muy prudente andar con aglomeración. Yeah, exactly. It's better to stay home. Yes. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Um, very good. Okay, nice. How was the weekend? Um, I don't know, stay home. You just stayed home. Did you go to the cemetery? Sí. Excuse me? Did you go to the cemetery? No, no, no. You didn't? Um, no, didn't. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So do you usually go to the cemetery or you never go? You never go. Oh, okay. All right. Good evening, Selena. How are you?
How are you, Selena? Very well. Excellent. How was the weekend? Sorry, Selena. I couldn't hear you. So, so, okay. All right. And how about yesterday? Yeah, maybe. So how about yesterday? Did you go to the cemetery to put some flowers to your relatives? No, I didn't. You didn't, okay. Good evening, Esmeralda. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I am fine. And you? Excellent. <laughs> That's nice. So, how was the weekend? Mm, very good. Very good. Okay. Nice. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Because, because I went uh, to Sonsonate. Okay. Did you go to the beach? How? No. How oh. do you say Plaza Ferroviaria? Oh, to the train um, museum? <clears throat> uh -huh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, I, I guess. I bet. I've never been to there, yeah. but I've seen some pictures. It looks no. nice. Yeah. How was it? Very was it good? good? Yes. That's great. And how about the platform, guys? Have you had any time to work in the platform? Yes, sure. Yes? What section yes. are you in, Carlos? Um, 5.12. Okay, cool. You're almost done. Okay, nice. And you, Janet? poquito teacher estaba bueno ahorita lo que estaba haciendo es como traspasar de un cuaderno a otro y ahí okay. estoy como reforzando exactly. viendo los videos de pasado mm -hmm. all right that's good Esmeralda how are you doing with the platform yes uh, I I am section five on a Okay, that's great. And you, Tamara? Oh, you already told me, I remember. And Selena, you finished. How about the diploma? Were you able to uh, download it or? Selena? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so you should check this week. Let's see if it's available now. Let's see. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Excellent. I'm doing well, thanks. How was the weekend? Um, in my house and work. Okay, you had to work. Yes. All right. And how about yesterday? Did you work? Uh, yes, I work. Oh, kind of busy, right? Okay, so I think we may start now. Let's see. Um, first of all, do you have any questions about any of the exercises or any of the topics? 
platform. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay. So once again, welcome everybody. And we are going to start with this activity, which is called erase a word. How does it go? Well, we are going to practice pronunciation of some verbs. Here I have them. First of all, listen to me and repeat, please. Listened. Listen. Listen. Repeat, listened. Listen. Listened. He studied. 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 Helped. 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 Painted. 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 Started. 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 Met. 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 Fixed. Fit. Fixed. 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 Fits. Drop. Drop. Wanted. 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 New. 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 Run. 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 Played. 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 Brought. 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 Took. Took. Took, but, 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 broke, 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 watched, what, watched, what, and read, read, read. Okay, so there we have the verbs. We are going to practice them one by one. So I'm going to say um, your names. I'm going to choose a person to read the first verb, for example. So I may ask, for example, Carlos, can you pronounce this one? Listen. Very good. Then I go like Esmeralda. Study. Pretty good. So that's what we are going to do. But pay attention to but. the pronunciation. Be careful with pronouncing correctly because if you don't pronounce correctly, we are going to get back to the first verb, okay? okay. So if there's a mistake, we go back to the first verb. Okay. Okay. All right, let's try it. Selena. Oh, okay. Vamos a ir leyendo uno por uno. Yo voy a ir diciendo los nombres, lee el verbo que va apareciendo, pero hay que tener cuidado con la pronunciación. Pronunciemos correctamente porque si pronunciamos incorrectamente el, el vamos a volver al primero, ¿ok? El primero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, bueno. Ok. So, Selena, can you read this one, please? Sorry, can you repeat it? Listen. Thank you. Carlos? Study. Esmeralda? Help. Janet? Paint. Repeat it, please, Janet. Paint. That one is painted. Okay, everybody repeat. Painted. 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 Okay. All right. So we're getting back again with the first one, Gloria. Listen. Again. Listen. Thank you. Tamara. Study. Very good. Gerardo. Help. Very good. 
Janet. Thank you. Great. Next one is for Carlos. Starts you. Starts you. Excellent. Gloria. Met. Nice. Selena. Repeat it, please. Okay, don't worry. It's fixed. Everybody repeat, please. Fixed. 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 Okay, so we're getting back. Let's see. Esmeralda, start. Listen. Great. Selena. Very good. Gloria. Help. Help. Tamara. Very good, Gloria. Tamara. Thank you. Again, please. Paint. That one is painted. Okay. Painted. Okay. Everybody repeat painted. 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 Okay. So we're going to continue. Carlos. Started. Very good. Let's see who's next. Janet. Matt. Very good. Gerardo. Fix. Okay. Gloria. Drove. Excellent. Next one, Tamara. One, two. Very good. Our next one is for Selena. New. New. Very good. New. Tamara. Run. Excellent. Gloria. Played. Great. Janet. Road. Very good. Gerardo. Took. Excellent. Carlos. Boat. Okay. I'll take it. Just remember that we do not pronounce the U, okay? We say but, but. But. Ah, Esta but. U se omite, okay? Okay, but. All right, Selena, next one is for you. Bro. Very good. Gloria. Watch. Excellent. And the last one, Esmeralda. Red. Red. Very good. Okay, nice. So now let's review a little bit of the simple past. So first of all, let's talk about the affirmative sentence. So something that we should keep in mind is that we change the verbs to the past, right? So in the affirmative, the important thing is to change the verb. And remember, we have two different kinds of verbs. The first ones are regular verbs. And for those ones, we add ed, d, or ied, depending on the rules, right? Then for the second group of verbs, the irregular verbs, we change their forms. Here I have some examples. We played basketball last Saturday. Can you, can you help me to read, Janet? My sister studied a lot for the exam. Thank you. Next one, Esmeralda. My sister is study. The other one, Sam. Ah, Sam. Sam at eight. Some cake of his birthday. Okay, nice. Thank you. 
Next one, Gloria. I drank some hot chocolate. Okay. And that was it. Okay, so as you see, we changed the verbs, right? In the first two sentences, we have regular verbs. So we only need to add ED. Or in the case of study, we need to change it for IED, right? And in the other, we, in the other two, we have irregular verbs. So we need to change them to their past forms, right? Eat, ate, drink, drank, play, played, study, studied. So always remember, in the affirmative form, you need to change the verb to the past. Okay, so now it's time to practice. I am going to tell you a sentence in the present and you have to change it into the past. And then you have to write it in the chat, okay? So first of all, you listen to the sentence. Second, you say it again, but in the past. And then you write it in the chat. So let's try it. Let's see, the first one is for Gerardo. Gerardo, my father goes to the gym. Can you say it first, Gerardo? Say it in the past. Okay, remember you have to change it to the past. Les voy a decir una oración en el presente, usted me la dice en el pasado y luego la escribe en el chat, okay? So again, Gerardo, my father goes to the gym every day. Oh, just forget about the every day. Just my father goes to the gym. You have to change it to the past. Okay, let's do it all together. ¿Cómo sería esa? My father goes to the gym. My, my father, father went. went. My what? father went to the gym. So I write it then. My father went to the gym. Decidí quitarle el everyday porque eh, esa es una expresión para el presente, ¿verdad? Entonces, para cambiarlo al futuro, al, perdón, al pasado, pues tendríamos que, que hacer ahí una, un movimiento, ¿no? No podemos decir everyday en el pasado, ¿ok? All right. So now, let me tell you another sentence. Let's see, Esmeralda. She loves to play basketball. She loves to play basketball. She? She loves to play basketball. Basketball. Um, she loves to play basketball. Exactly. She loved to play basketball. Love. Now, great. Played, played verbs in past. No, in that case. No, it loves. Play. Ajá, solamente love es el que va a cambiar porque ese es el verbo principal. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. All right, Carlos. She thinks he is handsome. She thinks he is handsome. She thinks. Uh, repeat, teacher. Okay. She thinks he is handsome. She thinks he is handsome. She dances. The dance. Uh, no. El she verbo thinks. is dance. No, el verbo ah. is think. She thinks he is handsome. Um, she thinks he is uh. handsome. Here you are. He, she, she thinks he is handsome. She, mm -hmm. she thinks, thinks mm -hmm. simple and past. I don't know, teacher. Okay, don't worry. So, what's the past of think? Everybody? So, thought, right? So, we change it. Oh. She thinks becomes she thought. So, oh. she thought he, he is handsome. handsome. 
Or in this case, we also need to change this one. He was oh, handsome. She thought, okay. he, was, she thought she, he was he was handsome. Ella pensaba okay. que él era guapo, right? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Pretty good. Next one, let's see, Janet. This one's for you. It's I run on the weekends. Repeat, teacher, please. Sure. I run on the weekends. I run in the weekend. I run in the weekend, or you can change it to last weekend, right? Okay. Okay, very good. I run. Next one is for Gloria. They talk too much. They talk too much. They talk, talk, talk. They talk too much. They talked too much. Very good, Gloria. Selena, he writes an email. He writes an email. Repeat, repeat, teacher. Yes, he writes an email. Okay, yes, I just saw it. It says he wrote an email. Very good. Okay, next one. Let's see who's missing. Gerardo. We have he goes to the church. Gerardo, can you change it, please? He goes to the church. He went to the church. Okay, very good. He went to the church. Okay, next one is for Tamara. Tamara, let's see, we have they make the bed. Make they make the bed. Mm, they I don't know if make or ma make say okay the past of make is made right made mm -hmm. oh okay uh, they made uh, excuse me what the bed they made the bed. they made the bed excellent okay pretty good so now let's move on. Let's see, any questions about any of the verbs? Nope. Okay. Not teacher. All right. Hay que los verbos en <laughs> exactly, you have to keep on practicing. <laughs> sí, practice. Okay, so to continue practicing, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to have two minutes, more or less, to talk about what we did on the weekend, last weekend. What did you do? So you can start by saying, well, I worked on Saturday, then I visited my grandma, then I went to a party, just whatever you did. Or if you stayed home, it's fine. But remember, there are many things we do at home too. So I did the dishes, I had to clean, and stuff like that, right? So please be detailed. Try to talk as much as you can. Tratemos de hablar tanto como se pueda. Eh, no importa si solo se quedó en casa y pues hizo lo normal, ¿verdad? De estar en su casa, de ver tele, de eh, hacer oficio y todo eso. No importa, usted dígalo y trate de hablar tanto como se pueda. 
Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms. And remember, you are going to answer this question. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay, so. There you are. Ok, eh, no sé quién, quién comienza. Lady first. Ok. What did you do last weekend? And you, Janet. Oh, mm, ok. In Saturday, I work all day. After that, go to the bakery and I drink um, frozen. After that, I return to my house and I sleep all night. Okay, Janet. Okay. Sorry, just remember to change the verbs, okay? Okay. I drank a frozen uh, or had a frozen. I returned home. I slept. Right? Okay. Just remember about that detail. Uh, bear, a bear is eaten in present or, or simply in past? past? En el pasado, porque estamos hablando del fin de semana. Entonces es algo um, que ya hicimos. Sería como I slept all night, algo así. Exactly, I slept all night. Ah, okay. Well, in, in Sunday, went, I went. Yes. I went to hair, hair styling. ¿Cómo se diría? Yes, to the hair stylist or to the hair salon. Um, and after that, I add a pupus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And you, what do you do in the last weekend? I, oh yeah, Gerardo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Eh, eh, I salto. Oh, it is nice. I uh, went I salto. Okay. Eh, I repeat that I say you. Por repetir lo que le di. Um, because I don't understand. Uh, okay, that they ask. Uh, I'm sorry. The question. Um, okay, uh, the last weekend I, I went to the, the beach, beach, uh -huh. um, I studied my, uh, my exam, um, uh, I don't know. I listen to music. Listen to music. I play with my my uh, my sister and my brother on the beach. In the beach. On the beach. Okay. Okay. Mister. And. This. Really.
Excuse me. You visited beach? Yes. With family? Yes, with my with, family. With his family? Yes, my, with my family, my, my mother, my sister, and my brother. And you, what do you do the last weekend? Yes, uh, I visited Sonsonate, uh, my family, um, mother, father, my sister, my two sister, and husband here, one sister. And let me see. Planes de renderos a comer o a visitar? A comer. Con su esposa. Sí. Bye. Eh, le, voy, le voy a preguntar otra vez. What did you do on last weekend? On Saturday, I went to the in the afternoon I stayed in my home and on Sunday in the morning I stayed in my home and in the afternoon I went to the church and Monday I stay in my home all day. Okay. All right, so we're back. Let's see, tell me about um, your classmates' weekends. Let's see, um, Esmeralda, who were you working with? With Tamara. With Tamara, okay. So tell me about Tamara's weekend. What did she do? A mí me pregunta, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que hizo Tamara? Exactly. No he entendido mal. Yeah, <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. eh, eh, Tamara, Tamara, I, I go, I, Tamara, she, Tamara, Tamara went. went, went, Tamara went the beach with family. Okay. Eh, with, with her family, ¿verdad? Exactly. Sí. With her family and in some and yesterday, I, uh, I she she studied in her house with family. Okay, that's great. Now let's see, Gerardo, who did you work with? Thank you, Esmeralda. Sorry about that. <laughs> So let's see Gerardo. With Carlos and Janet. Okay, so tell me about Carlos weekend. What did he do? <laughs> he went Stay at home with family. Okay, he just stayed home with family. All right. So what did he do at home? Anything interesting? Saturday um, at um, my family, my son, I suppose. Um, I scream Boston. Oh, okay. 
that's uh, nice. afternoon. Okay, that's cool. You had some ice cream? Yes. Great. Great. Okay. Thank you, Gerardo and Carlos. Janet, so you were working with these two guys, right? Carlos and Gerardo. So tell me a little bit about Gerardo's weekend. Gerardo weekend. I went further to, further to of the service. Yes. Sorry, can you repeat it? He he did when? Um no 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 no. Um, I'm from Ferretería, pero de ir when ir go when when he yeah. went oh he went Ferretería out of the service. Agro servicio. Um, agro servicio. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Eh, eh, and Sunday, eh, uh, dijo que. Uh, vio ya no, que había visto un social media ah social media eso social media okay you yes. check your social media all right very good so thanks good social media and then just for ferretería we have the word like tool store or hardware no, store yeah no, I don't know okay. tools yeah. Tools, mm -hmm. tool store, como tienda de herramientas, right? Uh -huh. yep. Okay. Okay, very good. So let's see, Selena, tell me a little bit about Gloria's weekend. Um, Gloria's weekend. Um, Gloria's weekend. Um, your father. With the sister and son, and also Gloria wins the Planet de Rendero with Hong Kong and some. some. Okay, great. Sounds like a fun uh, weekend, right? So that's pretty nice. Okay. So just a couple of things that I noticed while I was visiting you in the, in the rooms. Um, first of all, we say at night. So we have the different expressions for the times of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, okay? Esa sería la forma okay. apropiada de decir, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Para la noche usamos Teacher. at. Tell me. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, answer, um, no, I did, no. Uh, um, decir, I did, no. Said, no. no solo, uh, you only need it in the case uh, when you are talking about something you did, like um, I did the dishes. I did the mm -hmm. dishes or I did my homework. Solamente utilizamos el did en el caso donde decimos acciones que llevan ya el verbo do. Como do homework, oh, okay. do the dishes. En ese caso, sí, porque ese do lo voy a cambiar a did. Pero si estoy entonces, utilizando uh, un verbo distinto, entonces no utilizo did. Como, por ejemplo, I drank some coffee. I drank. Uh -huh. Ahí el verbo okay. es drank. Drank. Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. solo eh, decir uh, uh, el, el, la persona y luego el verbo y, es, y la acción. Okay? Es decir, um, es... Uh, Subject, um, verb, verb, simple past, must complement. Exactly. Goes okay. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. You're welcome. And then also we say at home or we could, we could just say home. Like I stayed at home or I stayed home. Okay. Esta palabra home se puede utilizar con preposición o sin preposición. Si decidimos utilizar preposición, tiene que ser at, at home. I stayed at home. Or just say, I stayed home. Okay? Okay. Then we also say, I went to. I went to Guatemala. I went to Sonsonate. I went to Planes de Rendero. 
I went to, to. We are, uh, went, went to. to. It are, uh, mm -hmm. I went to. Yes. Okay. And for the days of the week, we use on, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Sunday, on Saturday, okay? La preposición para los días de la semana on. es on. on. On Wednesday, okay? And that will be it. Oh, also last weekend. Con la expresión last weekend, no necesitamos ninguna otra preposición. So, I went to the beach last weekend. I visited my family last weekend. No es necesario decir in the last weekend or on the last weekend. No, only last weekend, okay? All right, okay. good, let's continue. So now let's talk a little bit about the past. So as we had studied, we use the auxiliary did not or the, the contracted form didn't, right? Did not or didn't. didn't. And we also have to keep in mind that we keep the verb in the base form, that is in the present. For example, they did not watch a movie. They did not watch a movie. Help me to read the second example, Gerardo, please. We didn't have enough time. Thank you, we didn't have enough time. Next one, Esmeralda. I didn't bring my cell phone. Exactly, thanks. I didn't bring my cell phone. And we have another example. Selena, help me to read, please. Jim did not buy a hamburger. Excellent, thanks. Okay, so as you see, we always use did not or didn't. Didn't, did not. And then we have the verb in the vase form, that is in the present. Watch, have, bring, buy. In este caso, como estamos utilizando los auxiliares did not o didn't, ya no necesitamos cambiar el verbo. So always remember that. Acá ya no vamos a poner watched, sino que solo watched. Watch. Did watch. not watch. Didn't have. No podemos decir didn't have. Uh -uh. Didn't have, right? Didn't bring did not buy okay so here teacher. i have some practice teacher. tell me yes uh what is the bring spanish uh, the bring. meaning of, of bring 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 yes eh, traer okay i didn't bring my cell phone no traje mi teléfono okay thanks all right you're welcome so here's the practice so i have some sentences for you to change them into the negative let me just move this bar. Okay, so we are going to use the chat. Please open your chat um, tab. And we are going to change them. For example, the first one, they went to the cinema. Can you help me to make the negative? It would be they. Mm -hmm. They went. That is in the affirmative, but in the negative, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't, they didn't, go. They didn't go to the cinema. They didn't go to, exactly. cinema, to the cinema. They didn't go to the cinema. Or as Gerardo says, they did not go to the cinema. And Tamara, you're also right. They didn't go to the cinema or they did not go to the cinema. Just remember. The first letter in a sentence is always capital letter. And at the end, we always need a period. Una vez más, al inicio de la oración, necesitamos una mayúscula. Al final, un puntito, okay? All right, so let's see. Number two, Janet. Kate's parents stay at home. Mm -hmm. They didn't stay at home. Okay, can you write it please in the chat? Maybe. Kate's parent didn't stay at home. Number three, Gerardo. 
I fell down at the park. All right, meanwhile, um, Gerardo and Janet are grinding. Let's see, Carlos, can you work with number four, please? She got a new car. Esmeralda, number five is for you. We drank lemonade to celebrate the victory. Okay. Let's see, number six is for Gloria. Gloria, you take care of this one. He studied chemistry okay. at the university. Selena. He didn't study chemistry at the university. Exactly, Gloria, very good. Okay, um, Selena, next one is for you. Number seven. John lived in Bloomington oh. for three years. John didn't live in the Bloomington for three years. Excellent. Write it, please. Very good, Esmeralda. Excellent, Janet. Great, Gerardo. Very good, Tamara. Okay, so now let's see. Tamara, can you take care of number eight, please? I ate seafood yesterday. I ate seafood yesterday. Okay, just remember, Tamara, uh, it, it's negative, so you need the auxiliary, didn't or did not. Okay, Carlos, just remember the present for the verb got is get. Ah, get. He didn't okay, get sorry. a new car, okay? Okay. And Selena, you didn't, John didn't live in Bloomington for three years. Okay, good. Just remember the contracted form goes like, let me, didn't, like Ooh. this, okay? Ooh. So be careful with the placement of the apostrophe. Cuidado ahí donde ponemos el apostrofe y recordemos que siempre necesitamos la N apostrofe D, okay? Didn't. Okay, very good, Carlos. Very good, Tamara. Okay. Gloria says he didn't study chemistry at the university. Nice. All right, so I think we got it. So always remember, whenever we use the negative, we use the auxiliary, did not or didn't. And then the verb, it's in the present. Okay. All right, let's continue. Um, we have a couple minutes. So let's talk about the questions. So remember that for questions, we use the auxiliary did, and then we add the subject, right? In el caso de las preguntas, recordemos que damos vuelta a los elementos, a los dos primeros elementos. Entonces, iniciamos con did, y luego del did necesitamos el sujeto. Did you, did she, did they? I. And then we keep the verb in the base form because again, we are using an auxiliary, did. El verbo de igual forma vamos a utilizarlo en la base form, en el presente, porque estamos utilizando el indicador did, el auxiliar did, que ya nos dice que estamos hablando en pasado. So here I have some examples. Did you visit your family last weekend? Or did your brother call you yesterday? Did your mom cook for you last week? So always remember that. We start with did, then we need the subject, then the verb. 
Recordemos eso, en las preguntas siempre cambiamos el orden, iniciamos con el auxiliar did, luego el sujeto, después el verbo que lo mantenemos en el presente. Ok, so here, um, well, I had planned to do it as a listening exercise, but we do not have more time. So anyways, let me tell you about the activities. So here we have some summit activities that I got from the video in the platform. Si han visto el video ahí en la plataforma, habla de las yes, summer teacher. activities, right? So we have activities like go hiking, go swimming, go swimming. Have fun. have fun, have a picnic, have a picnic. then we have meet, meet, new, meet people. New, people. new people, okay, then we have meet all friends, meet all all friends. friends. okay, and next one is play, play tennis. tennis, play tennis, or play, play volleyball. Volleyball. Play volleyball, we also have see a movie, see a movie. A movie. See a, play, see a play, and take, take, a, take class. a class. Take a class. Take pictures. Take, take pictures. Okay. Do you know the meaning of all of these expressions? Yes. Are they clear? Todas están claras. No tenemos duda en cuanto al significado o tal vez pronunciación. It's all right. Okay, so we are going to stop over here and we are going to continue practicing tomorrow, okay? Okay. So that's it. Thank you for participating in the class. Take care and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Take care, see you tomorrow. Good night, Bye -bye. everybody. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good night. Good night.